Hello everybody, welcome back to your favourite FIFA series on YouTube, it's Beer Goalkeeper, episode 64. Having a quick look at the Premier League table, we are currently sitting in 8th position, 9 points behind first, which definitely isn't too good for us. Obviously we've been on a bit of a downward spiral, I've not played too well, the team has been defending poorly and just not scoring enough goals, but hopefully that will all change here. Before we get into the first game though, make sure you leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new and turn notifications on so you do not miss a thing. Let's get into it. First match is against Crystal Palace and we're starting off down his right side with Platter, plays it into Reese James to Osman, lays it off to Sterling, first time shot but it's a bit low and easy enough for the goalkeeper who does make a little bit of a meal of it but from the corner whipped in it's a fantastic save from the goalkeeper from the header. Another corner whipped in, they do an okay job of clearing but it falls out to Brooklyn into Osman, back out to Sterling, edge of the box, back into Osman, first time shot of platter and it's another decent save starting off this game strong there goalkeeper crystal pass of breaking through our defensive line of rashford one of me hits it across me you're joking and i cannot believe it the first shot on goal and they score of course it's marcus rashford why is he playing for crystal palace how can they afford him not alone him but his wages as well but look at the defensive line way too easy marcus rashford has the pace i cover the near post because i always get caught out and just hits it across me on his weaker foot and we're one nil down very poor from us but we can have got plenty of time to get back into the game we do get an opportunity from Osman the keeper on top four make another decent save 31st minute we're back on the attack into Sterling with back heel silver for strike but again that keeper he is holding on to that clean sheet we go into the halftime interval with the 1-0 deficit hopefully we can get back into this game but we're going to need a strong second half to do so out wide the ball is played to chill gets a bit lucky into Sterling now who holds up waiting for a run and it's Silver who does make it one of the keep hits it across him and levels the game on the 49th minute that's exactly what we needed early on in the second half but Sterling does fantastically holds Bob and a cheeky little back heel and Silver has the time and space just to pick his spot easy as you like hits it right foot which I believe is his weaker foot keeper absolutely no chance Game all level. Crystal Paso get the first attack. Whips in. It's a nice easy save from himself to hold onto the ball. But again, down his right side of the pitch. It's Rashford once again into Loftus' cheek. Can he find the pass? Yes, he can. That's one on one with me. Hits at near post. But I read it. Lucky for me it was at the near post. From the corner, they whip it. And I come out a little bit. Make a bit of a mistake. But I do actually push the striker out of the way and get very lucky. We do clear our lines. It falls back out to a Crystal Pass player. Edge of the box once again. Plays it in one on me again. But near post. And I'm there. Finally making some saves. It's been a while since I've performed pretty well here we lose the ball very sloppy but he tries cheeky chipping me but I make a little bit of a meal of it eventually I do get both hands onto it and hold onto it tightly 15 minutes left of this game it's Sterling into a box holds it up for chill or Ozerman as well back out wide can't have a long range but no problem at all for anyone involved there just eight minutes left now Chris Paz get a bit fortunate the ball falls back to him after the tackle they whip it in but look at that from Martinez the composure is unreal Cheeky, cheeky. And very cheeky to go along with it. Three minutes left of this game and look at this for some work from Rashford. Wins the ball off of two players. He's breaking through the defence line once again. Charging into the box. One of me hits it early but hits it straight at me as well. Very fortunate for me. Lucky, lucky, lucky. And then unfortunate for us we can't quite get the winner at the end of the game. It's another decent save from their goalkeeper. And the game ends all level. I'm a bit upset we didn't win but we could have quite easily lost it at the end. I played pretty decently for myself. I haven't been performing as well as I should as of late. I've been pretty poor so it's nice to get some saves under my belt but now we move on to a massive game in the Carabao Cup semi-finals against Manchester United it's going to be a tough one but they start off with the corner we do an okay job to clear it to the edge of the box it's whipped back in little scissor volley de canio oh shit here we go again what am I doing here how have I let that in so disappointing just a lack of concentration didn't expect him to shoot he caught me all off guard it's an okay finish but just so annoying to let it in like there's no power on it I'm just not paying attention don't really think anything of the shot and just missed the ball completely and we're 1-0 down against Manchester United not the start I want after bigging myself up but I do get back into the game with a nice little save at the near post and Manchester United tried another long ranger that one was a bit dramatic one for the cameras definitely but either way I kept it out the ball did move a lot but it's a decent save a little traveller by looks like a little toe poke it gets a lot of power onto it but it's kind of like a weird save I kind of stand still and dive but keep the ball out that's all I care about but this match has been all Manchester United another one 
but that is a fantastic save. Full stretch, two hands to it. The movement on me is ridiculous, and I kept the ball once again. Five minutes left of the half, we whip it in, then we lose the ball, but Chilwell wins it back, high up the pitch. Oz and that keeps out quickly to make a decent save of his own, and then we kind of lose the ball, not good enough. And the half-time whistle has been blown, and we're 1-0 down from a very poor decision-making for myself, or lack of decision-making, just let the ball roll into the back of the net. But the match has been all Manchester United. They get another opportunity in the second half, near post, good strong hand from the corner, play it in, back out to the edge of the box, another first up shot, and another save for myself, so I am keeping us in this game at the moment, but Manchester United want this, one little flick, I make a little bit of a meal of it, but I do eventually get both hands onto the ball to secure it, finally we get our first attack of the second half, it's platter of a long range, I think it's going wide, but the keeper is there to make the save anyway, I think stuff it, it's all out attack, we whip the ball in, but I do win the ball in the edge of the box, back out wide, we're playing around with a little dramatic there, Sterling gets the ball, back into a hold of defender, spin it shot, but it doesn't have the power and the referee blows the whistle and we lose and we are knocked out of the Carabao Cup. Again I played pretty well five saves out of six all in the same spot apparently but the one save I didn't make just lets us down. We could have drawn it, we could have maybe snuck a win but Manchester United deserved it overall. Into the next match we have a London derby against Spurs away from home. Hopefully we can get a win, we've not had one today. We start off wide into Osman, back into Plata, a little pass to Osman near post, off the post though. Unfortunate Spurs first attack, little chip ball over the top on the volley. I make a decent save but he was offside anyway. And that's the first half done, that's all that happened, pretty boring overall. I hope the second half just isn't as cagey as the first, but it takes up to the 77th minute for something to happen, and it is Spurs, hits it in their post, and they slot it in straight past me, not good enough, it's pretty disappointing, I tried closing down the angle, but this is what I'm saying, if I cover the near post, they hit across me, if I cover the far post, they hit at the near post, not a lot I could do, maybe I should be saving it, it's young man's son, he's got a left foot, he's got a right foot as well, but he hits it well, I feel like I should be saving it though, but the power just beats me, very disappointing, Conte there looks absolutely thrilled to bits, and then I get subbed off obviously, because I had nothing to do for the whole game, zero saves, two shots against. <laughs> Apparently it all kicked off after I got subbed off because we scored two, they scored another one, the game ends in a draw. Pretty disappointing but the game was so boring to play in. Now on to the final game of the episode against Wolves in the Premier League. And guess what? They're the first ones on the attack near post. And I do make the save. Finally making some more saves again after that poor performance against Spurs. Again, one of me now hits at near post. I go the wrong way. But fortunate for me, he's actually offside. Once again, I thought I'd cover the far post and he slotted in at near post. So I'm pretty happy he's offside because that's another poor goal to give up. But you can see here, he just goes a little bit too early. He's a good mile offside in my eyes. But Wolves have just been all over us in this first half. They get a bit unfortunate there. The tackle doesn't quite go through near post. A little bit of a minute of it, but I kept the ball out from the corner. They whip it in. We do an OK job of clearing, but it's edge of the box again. Tries finessing it, and that's a difficult save to make. Can't see the ball at all, but I do get a hand up to push it out for another corner. And from that corner, 25th minute, try a long ranger. That's another good, strong hand for myself. I'm out quickly as well to gather the ball, so no corner here but look at this so sketchy i kind of like levitate backwards it's so weird magic we are still yet to have any shots on target this match but wolves again with another one out quickly though i am but he hits it straight at me so a bit lucky but i did an okay job of closing down the angle but we don't do a good job of clearing they win it back into the midfield back on the attack gets past the defenders way too easy long range and it just trickles past the post that is unlucky from them i think i would have had it covered by the looks of that we are so close to sneaking in at that far corner first half is done and we are yet to have a shot on goal we're lucky to be all level going into half done whistle. Can it change in the second half? Finally, a first attack happens. Osman gets snapped there. Sterling holds the ball and waits for Osman to make the run, but he plays it into Kante and Plata. Back to Osman near post, and he does manage to score with the first shot of the whole match for this Chelsea team. And of course, it is Victor Osman. He did a decent job of getting back up after that tackle. Ran deep from the midfield and waited for Plata to pass it to him. Slots it in near post, which you could say Josie Sarr should be saving it, but we all know it's difficult to save near post shots in this game. I'm just happy that we scored a goal and I'm happy we're 1-0 up. Can we make it two? Quick one, twosie into Kante. Easy enough save for Josie Sarr, then Kante sits there in disbelief that he didn't score that goal, which he definitely should have scored, but we 
we do go on to win the game 1-0. A clean sheet for myself. It's been a little while, especially in the Premier League, but I'm happy with that. You can see I'm sat in second position in clean sheets. One behind the Leicester City goalkeeper there. It's looking pretty close for the Golden Glove in the Premier League. I'm hoping I can pip everyone to it. We've still got a fair few games to play. At least another 19. We're actually halfway through the season. I didn't realise that. But sadly, that is going to be it for today's episode. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, don't forget to leave a like on this video. It really does help my channel. Subscribe if you're new and turn notifications on so you do not miss a thing. And as always, look after yourself, stay safe, and I will speak to you next time. Goodbye.